Once you've gotten your patient, all right, you'll have to make sure all your stuff is. Uh, you make sure you have all your stuff ready, okay, before you get the patient, or while they're changing. Uh, it's preferably done before you go get the patient. Have all your stuff. Make sure you have your electrodes. Make sure you have your machine all set up and ready. Alcohol swipes, uh, gloves, and some sheets and blankets uh, to keep them modest. All right, and once you're all ready and uh, the patient's all ready, all right, once you have your patient, you're just going to basically explain to them what you're going to be doing. All right, you ever had an EKG before, done before, sir? No. Okay, all right, well, I got some electrodes here that I'm going to be placing on your body in different spots. Put these are right across your right across your chest, and then your arms and on your legs, okay? And all right, we're going to get a, a, a reading of the electrical impulse of your heart, okay? okay? All right, do you have any questions? All right, once you're done explaining to them, make sure to ask if they have any questions, okay? All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? First thing you want to do is make sure with most patients, all right, uh, that they're it's clean, okay? That that you keep them modest. Uh, most patients, uh, especially if you're doing this on a female, uh, you want to keep her covered up, okay, as best as you can, okay? There's going to be certain points where you're not going to be able to, but you're usually in a pri private place, but you still want to be as modest as possible. All right, all right, sir. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. We're going to I'm going to put this on you, okay? Cover, keep you up, covered up on one side, okay? Sound good? All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side here for you, okay? All right, there we go, okay. Once you got them all covered up, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and clean the area, all right? Clean the area and get it all ready. Alright, once you get enough time to ask any questions over the procedure, uh, next thing you'll do is get some gloves on and get ready to clean the areas of interest where you're going to be placing the electrodes. Alright, there's ten different electrodes that go on the, uh, the body. There's two on the feet, two on the hands, and there's six right across the chest. Alright, so you usually start with the ones right across the chest. Alright, and we'll begin right here. Alright. All right, while doing this, make sure and keep the patient covered, all right? The, the areas, uh, only expose the area that you need to be dealing with, all right? All right, the first one, the first one we'll be placing, right, the first electrode that you'll be placing, all right, is V1, all right? And it is in the fourth intercostal space, all right? And it is on the right side of their sternum is where you'll be placing it. So go ahead and uncover the right side. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and kneel down here. All right, and usually this first right here, people mistake this first one for an intercostal space, which is not, but it is usually just a little bit lower, about right there. So you have your medial, medial clavicle, and it's just right below it, just about just a little bit high, right? about half an inch, inch, all right. All right, and from there, you go ahead and count down. This is the first one, the second one, the third one, and fourth one. All right? All right, which should be just about in line with the patient's nipple line, all right? So once you feel down to the fourth intercostal space, all right, it's right with the sternum, over the sternum, right to the sternum, you're going to go ahead and place your first electrode. All right. Once the first electrode is placed on that side, go ahead and cover up. The next electrode, V2, will be placed in the fourth intercostal space, but on the left side. So it usually just come directly across, and you can feel for it, and then where the nipple line is, directly across from the patient. Go ahead and feel for the next one. Feel down. If you can't do it, just go ahead and go up here. And go ahead and count down. One, two, three. All right, and make sure to put it close to the sternum. All right, and you'll put it right on this side. All right, so then you got 
B1 and B2. Alright, then the rest of them, we'll go ahead and put B3 and B4 and B5 will come along just right down this way. Alright. You will go ahead and skip B3 and you'll go straight to B4. Alright, and B4 will go ahead and you skip B3. B4 will be in the fifth intercostal space. Alright, so go ahead and fill down for the next one. I'm not helping you. I'm not hurting you. Am I? No, sir. Okay. All right. It'll be in the fifth intercostal space. All right. And it'll be in the midline of the clavicle. All right. And it's usually right below the nipples where it is. All right. That is where B4 will go. All right. And then B3 will be placed just right in between the midway in between those two, usually on the fifth rib. Alright, once uh, B1, B2, B3, B4 are placed, then you'll place B5, alright, which is just horizontal from B4, alright, and this at the beginning of the axillary curve, right here on the body. So go ahead and keep filling. It's usually still in the fifth intercostal space. And it just comes over this way, and it's about right, right on the edge of the axillary curve, as you're going down. All right? And then the last one that you'll be placing, all right, is horizontal again, B B5, alright, you have B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, alright, and B6 is just lateral, it's horizontal of the B5 on the axillary line, back like so. So after you use complete, you have B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, and B6. Alright, once you complete there, go ahead and go ahead and cover them up, alright, and then we'll be placing the last four electrodes. Alright, the last four electrodes are very simple. Go ahead and start down here with your, your feet, all right? Where they go is on the medial side of the leg, all right, on the meaty portion, all right? You go ahead and place it just like so, all right? You do not want to stick it on a bone. So you, we, got, we got this bone right here. You don't want to stick that because bone is not a good conductor of electricity. So you just place one there and one on the other side as well, both legs. Make sure on the medial side. And the last two we'll be placing will be on the arms. Right. Go ahead and look your arm up here, sir, for me. And it's on the medial side, all right, here on the tissue, okay? And make sure, again, not to put it on, you don't want to put it on a bone, because it's not a good conductor. All right, so we'll put one there. And we'll put one on the other arm. So go ahead and look your arm up here for me, sir. You doing all right today? You doing all right, sir? All right, good, good. All right, and then once those are placed, all of our electrodes are placed, and everything's all, everything's good, and you're ready to place your leads. All right. All the leads are pretty dummy proof. They are all labeled. All right. They are labeled uh, left arm, left leg, B1 through B6. They are all labeled for you. So it shouldn't be a, a task. Shouldn't be too hard, too difficult. All right. It doesn't matter how you start placing them. You can go ahead and start with you. B1 through B6, or you can go ahead and place these. Alright, so we're just going to start right here with these. The long ones are for your extremities. Alright. So go ahead and find your first, v, uh, first lead, B1. You take it here, and you go ahead and attach it. Sometimes they like to come off. Go ahead and stick them back on there. Sometimes some of the leads, uh, if you've had to place them several different times uh, because you felt like you put them in the wrong spot, they lose their stickiness, like so. All right, so just go ahead and get you a new one. It works out better.
Make sure you're putting it back in the right spot though. Make sure you're filling. Put it in the correct location. place, go ahead and cover them back up. Alright, and then we're just going to go through the rest of these here. Alright, so we got V3, here's V2, alright, then we have V3, Five and six. Also, I'll place there. Make sure they're good and secure. See how these are trying to come up. Let's go ahead. Let it throw anyone on there. Once you get them all, all the leaves on the chest place, go ahead and cover them back up. Alright, let's go ahead and place the outer extremities, alright? We have a right arm, left leg, and left arm, and right leg. So we'll go ahead and place these. This is our left leg. You have our right leg. Fall asleep on me, sir. Yep. All right. Oh, go ahead and turn your arm up this way. There you go. Okay, it's a little here. All right, go ahead and put it back. All right, I need your other arm, sir. All right, go ahead and put your arm down there for me. Once, once all the leads are placed, all right, you want to go ahead and lay the patient all the way down, okay? I lift up a little bit more, sir. Come on down. All right. And then you're ready to record your EKG. All right. Make sure your machine is on. It's pretty simple. All right. Make sure your machine is on. And there should be just an auto start button. All right. You just go ahead and hit it. Alright, once it starts, you can go ahead and check the tracing on there. Make sure you got a good, good solid heartbeat. Check the rhythm and make sure everything's normal. Once you've done it, you'll go ahead and get a printout. And we have completed EKG. Alright, so we'll go ahead and Stash this away right here. All right, once that's complete, you go ahead and detach the leads and you'll remove the electrodes, all right? All right, so you just go ahead and start. It doesn't matter, any of them, uh, which, which way you do it, but just go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and pull them off or pull them off separate or you can just pull them off just like so. All right, make sure you shut your machine off. If not, it's going to be a <laughs> Sir, we're almost all done here, sir. We're gonna go ahead and get all these off of you, alright? You doing alright? Okay. Alright. Most of these will come off pretty easily. Alright. Those are all off. We're all good. And then, they do the kitchen. Alright. 